if you guys do not know, this is how the new Primordial Ashes uh, upgrade legendary works, okay? So it's just like upgrading any or the chance to get any um, Primal Ancient item. So when a Primal Ancient item drops, all the stats are perfect, but they're random stats. So it's going to be the same thing with the Primordial Ashes. So you get Primordial Ashes from getting from salvaging primal ancient items so you salvage a primal ancient item you're going to get 55 primordial ashes and then you can use those in the cube to upgrade any legendary item to a primal ancient item but when you upgrade it you're going to get random stats so if i was to upgrade this dawn all the current stats that i have are going to be re-rolled and completely randomized so it's you know it kind of sucks but it, it makes the nature of it the same because you are getting a primal ancient item so if you don't get the stat rolls that you need then you just got to re-roll uh like re-roll it so it's not the primordial ancient you know item and then you have to do it all over again this can be really tough especially early on because the drop rate for primal ancients is very very low very low uh now one thing to consider is that i probably will not be doing any primordial ashes upgrades until you get the final part of your altar of rights once you unlock every single node that includes three potions you're able to take the sealed potion which when a primal item drops a second random one drops as well so you get two every single time this is really really good so any of my build guys that you guys are going to see I'll try to mention what I will upgrade as a primal or a, yeah, like the using the ashes on the primordial ashes on. I will try to make that known in the builds. So like with God DH, I'd probably do my dawn. Um, but you can obviously pick any legendary that you want. It could be anything that you need. So I would just pick whatever item that you need that needs the most stats. So like if I have perfect stats and everything else and I just kind of need my stats to be perfect on my dawn then i'll just do my dawn so that's how the primordial ashes work now one thing to keep in mind is you need to be very selective about what you pick because just like in season 27 with the angelic crucibles on any of the items you can only have one so if you upgrade this with the curiosity of lorath nahar so if i upgrade my dawn i can't upgrade anything else with this recipe in the cube because i can only have one equipped I could upgrade my shoulders, but I couldn't equip my shoulders and my Dawn at the same time if they both have been upgraded with this recipe. So that's very important to keep in mind. But that is how the ashes work. It's a very awesome mechanic. A big shout out to uh, Rax and them because him and the community actually talked about this a lot. And it was just something. It's already hard enough to find primal ancient items, but it's even harder like, hey, I'm grinding, I'm grinding, I'm grinding. I finally get my Dawn to drop and the stats suck. You know, so how long is it going to be before not only do I get another Primal, but I get a Primal Dawn. So that's super, super hard. The chances of that are just so low. So with this recipe, all I got to do is find Dawns, get Ashes, and then I can upgrade them. So it makes it easier, but your problem is still having to find primal ancients so hopefully with the recipe this season all you guys find a lot of primal ancients um just i'm hoping to because i want to have one item in each of my builds a, a primal ancient no matter what and have decked out stats so and i hope that it's something that they keep around like not the potion power but just this recipe i hope it stays around forever for the entirety of the game because this is really good this, this is still hard to get items. It's still hard to find primals, but when you get them, you can upgrade something and it at least makes it slightly easier. So that's how you use the Primordial Ashes in season 28, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. And if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.